This is the true story of James Henry Dowdy Jr., the guy that's building the house across the street from mine. Yesterday, he decided to run over all of the American flags in the front yards that we put up for decoration for the 4th of July. I happened to catch him running over mine with my Ring video doorbell. That's right, he intentionally ran over the American flags in our yards. This is what happened when I walked across the street to ask him about it. Before I got one word out, here was his reaction. Don't on my property, I'll have you arrested for trespassing. Okay. Get back over there on your side. All right. Can I ask you a question? Don't you even come near me. Can I ask you a question? Get the hell out of here, you arrogant son of a bitch. I'm an arrogant son of a bitch. Come near me, I'm going to knock you out. You're going to... You're going to knock me out if I come over there? Why would you knock me out if I come over there? Hey, so uh, don't come on my property either, by the way. I don't know where my property line is, motherfucker, is your answer. What you doing? What's that? What am I doing that's illegal? You're going to show me what's right and what's wrong. Because my daddy has a lot of money, I can do whatever I want. That doesn't make any sense. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Hey, why are you so angry? Do you hate America? Did America piss you off? I'm just asking you why you're so angry. You're the one that run in your mouth with all the threats and foul language. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? All right. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm going to record for our little presentation <laughs> later. <laughs> what, is, what is actually going on? Uh, but long story short, we put these flags down here for the 4th of July. And uh, my neighbor that lives right next door came over this morning and said, or this afternoon and said, uh, somebody ran over our flags and somebody also reported them to the DOT for them being in the... Uh, easement or whatever and he's like guess who that might have been and we're like well obviously probably him okay, so real, real quick. is this even a state maintained road no, uh like, yes okay. yes it is is it, it is, is state maintained i don't know it, it used to be a private first. one but it okay. is now state maintained. so i checked my ring doorbell and shocker the tractor that he just pulled behind his house to probably hide it is the one that ran down here into my yard and ran over the flag so i walked across the street just to ask him about it, and he immediately started threatening me, saying he was going to beat my ass. Just okay. so now, vulgar as as, language. <laughs> now, as far as as far as with this individual over here, okay. Yeah. As far as with him, do you have his information? I mean, yeah. you know who he is. James Doughty is his what, name. What is actually is his name? James Doughty. James Doughty. So. As far as on your video, what did the video actually show? Him running it showed over. his tractor <laughs> just coming straight like into the direction. shot, straight over the flag, and then back and over he here into his yard. So we can get away from threatening, you can. communicating you can. threats. Yeah, I mean, because I'm just tired of it. Well, I, I don't blame you. I mean, it's three we, we years we, of this. We have some issues as far as where you, you, you could probably have the ground, so you can take out what is called a 50C. Okay. It's a no contact order. Yep. We'll go here and talk to him. Okay. Yep. Mailbox in the 
say that the mailboxes are the post office's property, not private property, and that the flags aren't in the lawn, they're in the right of way, but the cop is explaining that that is the lawn, and he cannot intentionally drive through it. So it's illegal with the DOT to be advertising. He's saying he has to call the DOT to get somebody that's parked illegally. He's complaining and arguing with the cops. There were no cars there today. There was no car anywhere down there. Yes. How do you have a problem with an American flag in your yard? <laughs> because there's covenants, conditions, and restrictions. It's our God given right to put up American flags, the cop says. I did. He's down at like 10% calm level too. Oof. It's just, he's not, he's not going to listen. He's not going to understand. Yeah. Um, I mean, say the thing like we told him. You can't destroy somebody else's property. Yep. Common sense. I mean, it, <laughs> it's bluntly out there. So, you know, just keep yourself. If he keeps on, you know, you, what options you got. You got the PC. Yep. You still are able to go take out your charges. Yep. If you need us, please call us. That's what we're here for. Okay. Come to I will. <laughs> so you see what we're working with. It's, it's illegal, <laughs> apparently, to put up an American flag. Oh, my God. But just so you know, <sighs> as I said, y'all still can go down and take out the charges. Me, personally, yeah. I would because I don't think he thinks anything necessarily no. applies to him. Yeah. So that's what I would do. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, I would go down there, and if that would be the case, let the court system to decide. Yep. If the court system pops up and says, eh, that flag shouldn't have been there, then they're going to throw it out of court. Right. If the court system says, wait a minute, that is, you know, private property. Yeah. Um, even though it's something as far as it's got a right of way, it's still, uh, y'all probably pay taxes on it. It's still private property. Yep. Um, so let them decide. And if he, you know, if he continues to want to tear up property, yeah. the court system eventually yep. starts shelling out money <laughs> to replace the property that he tears up. He, he kind of contradicts himself a lot. Yeah. Um, the longer you talk to him, he. Oh, would, yeah. Whatever he thinks is going to help his like, argument. He's kind of on that whole, like, was it the 15 foot of roadway? The DOT get, thing, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's that 15 foot of extra roadway you get. But I think that goes towards, like, you know, vehicles when they got to park on the side of the road for counting well, purposes. Really, and really quick. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but you get that 15 foot of four Yeah. Oh, he's going to find out if this state may thing. Oh. 
the real street. quick. This is a private road. This is yeah. not state maintained. Okay. So I'll clearly all day long, if he does anything like that, that is definitely destruction of private property. Okay. So take out his charges. He can't, the DOT, whatever he's saying about DOT, he is lying okay. because uh -huh. this is just See, confirmed it. crazy a little bit? Just confirmed it with the 911 <laughs> center. This is private property. This has got nothing to do with state maintained. Okay. So there is no DOT. I hate he's already gone, so we can, you know? <laughs> I hate he's already gone. Asana, you no, started no, getting no, into no, a little fired up. Like, he's he's not going to believe it. He's, right. I mean, he's, that, he's right. that off. He's not going to believe it. But unless it's one of those things, we put it out there so that way you've already been told. You yeah. already know yeah. on both sides what it is, you know? Both, both sides need to know what the real deal is, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's the reason why I say I wish he was here so he could still, he knows just like you guys know. It's yeah. privately owned, so you do anything, yes, destruction of property, yep. you know? And then that way, if he shows up in court, says, hey, DOT, whatever. He's not. So, sometimes people are, right, are right. the individuals where they're like, you know something? Yeah, I shouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you got people that's going to be the complete opposite of that. And they're going to be. Well, he said we were going to get ours. So, I mean. So did he ever, just out of curiosity, did he ever say that he didn't do it before you mentioned the video? He kept saying that he didn't. He he didn't didn't kept saying, he oh, they didn't pull it out. He didn't pull nothing. Oh, out. yeah. And I said, no, you ran over. <laughs> <laughs> and then his excuse was that the cars were parked. Cars yeah. right. away and it was never denied. Right, right. <laughs> so, no, he made the comment, what asked, if it were a rebel um, flag? No, no, no. He like, said rebel flag. He didn't say if. He did say, well, putting rebel flags in the yard, is that illegal? I was Sir, like, what that is an American flag. <laughs> we live, we live in America. What? Well, y'all have a good evening. All right, you do the same. See you guys. Good luck. Fourth of July. Yeah, happy fourth. That's true. That is a good point.